Welcome back to another episode of Mr. Fix the Realtor. Today, I'm going to show you how to replace your kitchen sink faucet. So the handle on my kitchen sink faucet is stripped and this part is no longer made. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the faucet. So the first thing we're going to do is shut off our water valves. Make sure those properly hold. No water comes out, so we know that our valves are working properly. So working in a space this size is gonna be rather challenging due to, well, my size as a normal human being. So don't wear nice clothes. Expect to bump your head and you might get a little wet. The main tool we're gonna to need today is a pair of channel locks or you can use a wrench as well. Here's the faucet I got, it's a standard mowing, single handle, just like what I've got here with the built-in hot water and cold water. So there's just one single control. Because I'm replacing an existing faucet, this is a little bit easier to do. You can pretty much look at what's already there and kind of match to what you've got. You have a hot and you've got a cold line that are marked here. It also comes with some special tools to install this from underneath as well. The first thing we're gonna do is disconnect our hot and cold lines underneath here. The channel locks are a little clunky because of the size of uh, the cabinet, but I'm just giving it a few small turns and I'll be able to unscrew this the rest of the way by hand. So now both our supply lines are disconnected. Before we can even begin to take this apart, we need to disconnect this piece right here. Maybe a little hard to see. You push this button in and this will pull out. You got to be careful because sometimes water will leak out of this line. So prepare to get tripped on and take this piece off so that we can pull this all the way through. Taking a flathead, I'm just popping this piece. Now I'll be able to just take this all the way out. Next, I'm gonna take this tool, put it up underneath, and then take something like an object like this, just simply turn it. Now the whole thing moves. So I'll be able to unscrew this the rest of the way by hand. So this part underneath actually just unscrewed from the base of this, but normally this should stay connected and this bolt should come unscrewed. But either way it works, it comes out. Pulling my cold and hot supply lines out. And finally, it's this piece that we had disconnected from now the head from. Here we have our new faucet. There's a little rubber gasket that comes with the packaging. I'm gonna slide that over here. And so the gasket's just gonna fit a little bit of a groove in there where it'll go into. This will just help ensure a good seal there. Let me put this back on the countertop. Now we're gonna go ahead, put our supply lines down. that through. We'll have to make sure this is centered when we are securing everything. Now that this is nice and tight, I'm going to get the nozzle and I'm going to run a line straight through here and connect it to here and put the weight on it. I've got my nozzle here or the, or the head of it if you want to call it that. And I've got the pieces that are going to connect to it. It's going to connect from here. You generally should be able to do this by hand. If you use channel locks or something like that, you could potentially scratch this. And it's not like a real nice chrome finish, so you'd end up ruining it. It's like a plastic. So just try to make sure you can do it tight by hand. And this little cap and end, we're going to just take off. There's one plastic washer or nut here that I put on now that we ran the line through here. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and pop this in. There. When you hear that click, you know what it's in. So just give it a test pull. Not going to Now the last thing to do is reconnect our supply lines. So we're going to reconnect both our hot and cold. They mark the hot with this tag, which should go on the left side. And the cold will go on the right. So think of it just the same way as when you turn the handle on here. 
I'm going to tighten them by hand as much as I can. After that, I'll go ahead and take the channel locks to do the rest of the way. It's very important to make sure these are completely tight on here because otherwise we'll have water leaking underneath. No water coming out here, that's a good sign. We gotta put our weight on here so that this doesn't pull all the way out. works. Thanks for watching this episode of Mr. Fix It The Realtor. Hope you found this helpful. If you'd like to see other videos I've done, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Now, back to doing the dishes.